You need more? More. Legion assemble. Go and function. Okay. Slaughter and carnage. Let's teleport. Craniums for the cranium chair. <laughs> the twin demonic axes, slaughter and carnage, must be fed before the brazen altar to restore them to their former lust and power. After much cautious Bye. brokering, an alliance has been formed with two of Scarbrand's brother bloodthirsters, who have summoned their hosts Bye. ready to fight. A Nurgle horde has been lured toward the altar, a fitting sacrifice, and yet... Hi. Basically, Korn can't be bothered to wait for Nurgle to show up to fight him, so he's decided to beat up his two brother bloodthirsters. The spine crusher, the skull taker, the blood quencher. That looks like that should be in the realm of Slanesh. I am violence. I am war. I am wrath. I am rage incarnate. You're fighting on Arrakis. <laughs> so I guess Korn's army is playing similar to an orc army, only melee and chasing the enemies while getting kited. Uh, no. More like a um. More like just a badass mother trucker who shows everybody else how it's done. Yeah, more like. That. I am 16 and slightly angry at my parents. <laughs> oh yeah? Sound like Scarbrand. Oh, by the way, chat, we haven't got to play with one of these yet. But look at this poor bad boy. Look at him. Soul Grinder. I'ma kill it! <laughs> Pathetic. Oh. Yeah, I really shouldn't have Scarbrand be in the middle of that.
Get him, Scarbrand. Don't you run from me. Don't you run from me. One lord has fallen. Slaughter the one that remains. Uh, I'm working on it. The exiled one. Ah, crap. Look at this good boy. He's just here to have a good time. Oh, there goes the other bloodthirster. Yes. The hell, dude? Nice. What are these guys? Oh, the straw weapons? That's fine. Okay, that can take care of itself. I need to go say hello to uh, this frat bro. Bring me sacrifices. Wait, he's got a bell? How are you doing with the bell? Oh, you're doing that. Alright, I'm not bad. And you're dead. Is that a nurgling inside the bell? It might be. If he can still walk, he's not unclean enough for me. <laughs> he uses his bell to ring other people's bells. Ah, yes. The greatest way of using a bell. I see. Forgive me. I was young and naive and did not know the ways. I still think Nurglings are an amazing unit, by the way. Look at them. Look at that little animations. That's so cute! <laughs> Stupid. Uh, I love how Scarborough basically just took care of this entire fight himself. The lurking animations are top. Oh, that's so good. They are quite funny, aren't they? Huh? It would be hard to ambush someone with that big bell. Most of the fawn armies I see played are using a backbone of Warriors of Chaos. Are they better slash cheaper than Bloodthirsters? Uh, you mean Bloodthirsters? Uh, these units? Uh, that they're, they're far more tanky. And because they're a human unit and not a demonic unit, they don't disintegrate if they lose leadership. So it's just a lot easier to have a strong, sturdy line and hold it uh, with uh, with the warriors rather than the blood letters. Um, also, blood letters rely on um,
Um, Bloodthirst, uh, Bloodletters rely on uh, physical resistance to try and keep themselves alive, whereas the uh, Warriors of Chaos have silver shields, armor, uh, and are pretty freaking tanky as a result. According to legend, apparently the corn faction is very OP at the moment. What do you think? Extremely strong. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was planning to make my frontline warriors and then support them with bloodletters. Yeah, you can use bloodletters as a flanking unit. He's just standing there, menacingly. Uh huh. Nothing. Oh. Scarbrand's patience, such as it is, is wearing thin. The plan was to wait the uh, await the encroaching Nurgle horde and then fight for the three core knight. Uh, then then for the three core knight forces to slaughter them in glorious carnage before the brazen altar. Plans, what weakness. The, f the farmer plans for the harvest. The maiden plans her wedding. Scarbrand does not scheme. What use, what use plans when there is rage and slaughter? The wrathful reaper clashes his axes together and glares at the bloodthirsters in command of the other core knight forces. This is their blasphemous folly. This planning and waiting. If Nurgle won't oblige, then Corn will yet have his due. Blood for the blood god. There we go. Um, so basically, his weapons are like a weaker version of the chainsword. Uh, so they they provide uh, five chaos corruption instead of ten uh, recruitment. They have recruitment costs for the Lord Army's production. They have some melee attack uh, instead of like the two hundred and fifty armor piercing. They have a hundred, and then instead of like increasing his base and armor piercing damage by three hundred, it's a hundred instead. So, it's not as powerful as Korn's weapon, but uh, it's, it's still a really good uh, weapon to get. 